Hi guys, today I'm going to do a short video on this very cool Seth Taylor Vipera. Um, first I'm just going to show the piece and then I'll talk a little bit about the maker. I don't want the videos to be too long. So here we go. Um, I'll just let you see, you know, the pictures of it or I guess the close-ups of the knife this is a one-off build so notice that um, each piece of sergonium is like a different piece um, we have a nice custom pivot with the rods um, and a rod going through from each piece through into the other and a nicely anodized titanium uh, liner on both sides. The pocket clip also has the rod on it. Um, where do I start? So basically um, when I watched Jim Skelton's video a while back I was quite impressed with the fit, fit and finish and then I really wanted to try it on my own um, and I wanted to challenge Seth to see what he can make. So obviously I got uh, some inspiration from Todd Rexford's builds and some of Mar Marsh's builds, Jeremy Marsh. Um, they, they do do these, you know, little islands which I really like and I think that Seth can build but I also wanted to go one step further where he also had rods going through through each island and if you notice the build is completely screwless because it's a hidden hardware build you know besides the pivot so that is really cool that Seth can pull it off you know as a young maker I think he's been doing this for maybe two three years and for you know this amount of time I think it is really impressive you know just on a fit and finish standpoint um, look at all the chamfering the finish on each and every piece it's not just on my piece that looks really good you know and by the way this is all handmade there's no uh, CNC involved so he had to hand carve all of this nice backspacer out there's rods in the back and then uh, going through all the way here you know I had to sit and design with Seth for quite a while um, look at this fly here okay so going to the blade I also helped him design this blade which I think fits really well with the model this is a 3.5 inch uh, blade knife um, obviously it's gonna be heavy because of the thick zirconium and his hand rub is really really well done as you can see very highly polished the lines are you know quite straight um, pretty good and now I want to talk a little bit about the action as you can see the the zirconium piece the whole thing moves with the with the liner um, and thought that was pretty interesting you know it does move up and down with the liner so he had to tune it really well because the piece is quite heavy um, and the action itself is jimping is very effective it is very fine yet it grabs on really nicely and then it just fires out without you know any you know without any effort and it rockets out really well and the lockup is early very solid 
no stick at all and nicely centered. I really enjoy this action and I'm sure going to be getting one of Seth's other builds. I'm in the process of helping him design one, um, one more. So hopefully that should come out very nice. It's going to be a more basic build because I really like the mechanics on this knife. Um, it, it's really, you know, glass move all the way from, you know, open to close, no hiccups. Absolutely no stick. It just feels like you're just moving this over. You know, some knives you can feel a little bit of positive stick, but this is perfect. Um, look at that action. Really, really nice. Um, overall, I'm very impressed with Seth. Um, and now I want to tell a little bit of a backstory on, on me working with Seth as, as like a businessman, as a knife maker, and like as a customer, how, how my experience went. So when I first talked to Seth, you know, I had a bunch of different ideas. I actually drew him something, this from scratch. It didn't look exactly like this. We went through many iterations and I kept changing my mind. Um, and he worked with me um, and helped me draw out the actual build, which I really liked. And then we decided to go with it. Um, Seth is really responsive and um, he's pretty fast. Um, I really like him as a maker. Um, and when the knife first came, he did not lock tight the pivot and it was a, another type of custom pivot where it didn't have you know the screw in the, mi the, the slot in the middle only the two at the side so I played with it a little bit and then it came off center and Seth was nice enough to you know acknowledge that oh something is wrong so he sent me a pivot tool that's specific for this Except when he sent it the first time, it didn't fit the, the two slots because usually he has to have these, the spec back, um, the knife back with him so he can align it accurately. And so he had to send the pivot itself because it's more as a standardized pivot um, or standard sized. And then he, you know, custom milled it and anodized it. So now it's fixed. He also sent not only one extra screw, but two extra, um, which is really nice of him. He didn't charge any shipping, and keep in mind, the first shipment he made was $100. He didn't charge me anything because it's shipping international from the United States, and I am living in Asia, so it's a far distance. I told him, hey, you know, you please use a smaller package so you don't have to pay so much. You know, I really appreciate your service, but I, I, feel, I feel quite guilty um, having you ship all the way here. Um, and he, he was really, you know, he, he wanted to make me happy. Um, he wanted to make all his customers happy. If there's anything wrong, he gets back to you really quickly. And that is what I really love about Seth as a maker. Number one, he's not scared to make difficult builds, you know. You can give him, you can give him anything, like me. I just drew him something, I told him this is the materials that I want. He's willing to make work with you and do anything you like. Literally, I drew it out of thin air, right? And second, he's really fast at replying and he's also really helping to take care of his customers and I really appreciate that um, and so thank you so much Seth um, this has been you know it's a really impressive build the experience with you had been you know just excellent and keep up the great work can't wait until we do a next build together um, really excited for that and uh, yeah um, have a nice rest of your day or night, and thank you very much for watching.